Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time then welcome to the channel. So I thought it would be fun today to take you guys through what my current morning routine looks like. I am the mom of a two year old so being a toddler mom and also currently 22 weeks pregnant I will say there is not exactly a routine in my life these days. <laughs> if you're a mama then you can relate. That being said, I do have somewhat of a morning routine that I like to do when things are going my way. Things that set me up for a successful day, help me to feel accomplished, help me to feel like I took care of myself mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally first thing in the morning. So hopefully you can take from this one or two if not a handful of practices to incorporate into your own morning. And I will say if there's one thing you take from this video, it's that a good morning or a good day in general begins the night before. So I won't go into too much detail on my evening routine. I can save that for another video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that one as well. That being said, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I head downstairs, I tiptoe, I sneak, because Max and Dusty are usually still sleeping. I try to get up these days around 6.45 a.m., just a little bit before the sun rises. So I'll sneak downstairs and grab my seed probiotics and this particular variety you take about an hour before any type of food so I'll do that and then I will fill up a 32 ounce mason jar with fresh pure filtered water so this is pH water it is structured it's energized it's the cleanest living water that your cells can possibly be exposed to what I will do is I will pour it into my electric tea kettle just to kind of warm it because warm water is actually really great for kickstarting your digestion so awakening your cells, awakening your organs. But before I drink my water, I will grab about a teaspoonful of coconut oil and pop it in my mouth. And this is called oil pulling. It's actually said to pull toxins from your mouth, which can equate to a brighter, whiter smile, a fresher breath, less things like gingivitis and cavities. And some even say it pulls toxins from the blood and from the body. So you don't ingest the oil, you swish it for about 20 minutes and then you spit it out. So usually I will pop back into bed with my phone. And this is the point where I used to mindlessly scroll through Instagram, checking emails, and with every single app that I opened, my anxiety level would heighten and get higher and higher, and I could just feel myself tensing up, like my to-do list was growing and growing for the day, first thing in the morning, and it just wasn't a healthy way to start the day. So, instead of just completely kicking that habit, I decided to replace it with healthier habits. The first thing I'll do on my phone is open my Bible app. So, I love version because they have daily devotionals, so I like to do that first thing in the morning to kind of set my spiritual health and spiritual tone for the day. I'll also do some type of brain exercise or brain training. So there's another cool app called Elevate that I've been loving. It helps you brush up on reading, grammar, math, all kinds of fun stuff. I actually really like the games, so I feel like those two things are really good for my spiritual and mental health first thing in the morning. So after that, I will pop into the bathroom and I will brush my teeth. So before I brush my teeth, I use a tongue scraper. So if this is something you're not familiar with either, similar to oil pulling, it can help to remove toxins from the mouth. So there is a lot of white film on our tongues when we wake up in the morning and that is all just grime and bacteria and just toxins that we don't want to be drinking down with our water and ingesting. So after I spit my oil, I will scrape my tongue and then I'll use our homemade toothpaste. We've got a video for that linked below. It's great for whitening your teeth. It doesn't contain any harsh chemicals. It's literally just two to three ingredients. And I will usually put a drop of peppermint oil on it. After I brush my teeth, I start to hydrate with that warm water and I'll sneak into my office room and start my morning meditation. So I was a very big fan of meditation for a long time and then I fell out of the habit, honestly, like shortly after Max was born, but picking it up again, I've really noticed how much it has benefited me. So I won't say that it's made me a perfect person overnight, but it has definitely made me more aware of what it is that I want to improve and work on, which has helped me to kind of reel back and think before I do those things. So I use the Headspace app sometimes. Sometimes I'll use one that's um, more Christian-based. It's called Abide. 
So both of them are fantastic. I usually just do around 10 minutes of that. And I absolutely love it because it just gets you in touch both physically and mentally with yourself. And again, kind of sets the tone for the day. You can usually set an intention at that time. It's a good way to clear your mind. And from there, I will usually do some sort of journaling. So there are three kind of main things I like to journal about. Number one would be gratitude. Number two would be things that I may be struggling with or stressed about that are bothering me. Number three would be goals or intentions for the day. So I don't do all of those every day. It's more of like a stream of consciousness, like whatever mood I'm in, do I need to get something off my chest or is there something I need to work on? And this is almost like your own form of personal therapy as opposed to meeting with a therapist. It's just like a mind dump. So it's a good way to just start the day fresh and know that you got it off your chest and maybe you don't have to complain so much to somebody else throughout the day. It's been really helpful to just kind of clarify where I'm going in my life in the day and how I'm feeling. So that's pretty much it for my morning routine as far as being in my own quiet alone space. And by that time, usually Dusty and Max have woken up. So once Max is up, that means it's time for diaper changes and breakfast. So Dusty somehow has always been the bed maker in the family, so I let him handle that one. <laughs> And sometimes he gets Max ready in the morning, other times I do. We'll get him dressed and head downstairs. And then we work out in the morning, so usually I'll make us all a morning shake. So I love to just do a frozen banana, a scoop of Sun Warrior protein, and a scoop of the Sun Warrior super greens. Usually I'll double it up so I can split it for Dusty and I. And then I make Max his own mini green shake with his own nutrition in it. So we enjoy our shakes, head out into our garage gym. Usually we'll do 45 minutes to an hour of some type of workout. Um, being pregnant, I am still at a point where I feel pretty comfortable doing all of my regular exercises I'm used to. I love to do a lot of HIIT workouts. Um, I do Beach Body On Demand. Those are incredible, highly recommend. I also love to do cardio treadmill workouts. Our 20 minute HIIT workout on the treadmill is a video that's super popular. I'll link it below. Um, sometimes I just do lifting and sometimes I will squeeze in a little bit of yoga. So love to change it up every single day. After that, we come inside and then it is time for our actual breakfast. So all of these breakfast recipes are in our recipe ebook. So definitely check that out. This is like the most epic, most well-balanced, nourishing and tastiest breakfast you can possibly have. The greens are super detoxifying and alkalizing and extremely mineral rich, even protein rich. Although I will say that green juice is very low in calories, which is why we usually pair it with something else. Our favorite thing is our pink bubblegum nice cream or smoothie bowl. So it's got bananas, raspberries, strawberries, jackfruit, all frozen blended up with Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein. We absolutely love Sun Warrior because it tastes amazing. It adds that extra boost of protein since like I said, we are working out first thing in the morning. And it just gives us that extra bump that we feel like we need since we are so physically active. And finally, we made waffles. These are Max's personal favorite. So we couldn't go without adding in some waffles to the mix. So shots, green juice, smoothie bowls, and waffles. The most epic breakfast. If you guys are interested in any of the Sun Warrior products I've mentioned, the protein powders, the liquid magnesium, the super greens, they're all linked below and you can get 20% off with our discount code EATMOVEREST. We love their stuff because it's all raw, USDA organic, free of all the crud. It's just pure, whole goodness. If you guys like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you be part of the Eat Move Rest fam. And as always, share this with anyone who you think might enjoy it or benefit from it, someone it might help. And whether you like this video or not, leave me a comment below so I can get to know you as well. And until next time, Eat Move Rest, your best. Bye guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.